Hi guys, thanks for finding my channel today and watching this video. This is my five minute review on the Dior Dream Skin Advanced Age Defying Skin Perfector. It's got a very long name, all right? So I'm gonna leave its full title in the description box below. So just expand the button below and you'll see its full title. So if you did wanna look at any reviews yourself or go and check it out at a Dior, Dior counter, its full name will be below. I think it's newly formulated. I've only obviously just found the product, hence why I'm talking about it, and I was introduced to it by a friend who gave me a little sample. She'd been given a little sample and fell in love with the product and went and purchased it, and I think was slightly shocked by the price of it, but still continued to buy it, so she was in there, in the zone, and was going to get it regardless, basically. So she gave me this little sample, which then made me fall in love with it. She did apologise when she gave it to me to say you'll probably love it as well. And I did. So I just started using it at night time, just to make it last a bit longer really, and just thinking that's always a good time, I think, to sort of get the goodness of everything in your face, because you're asleep and it's all doing good things. So I like to try out new things that are nourishing and good for the skin at night time. So then I thought, well, if I'll just go to my Dior counter and see if I can get another one of these just to string it out a little bit longer. And I did, I took this along and said, oh, my friend gave me an empty tube. Could I please have one to try it myself? So she didn't actually give me one of these. She gave me the little sort of tear open sachets that gave me probably about another three nights use. So then I had to take the plunge myself, didn't I? So I went along to the Dior counter because I remembered that I had some John Lewis vouchers left. I was going to purchase a nice sparkly pair of pinky blush Converse for the summer with my £50 voucher, but I didn't. I was sucked right in and I got my 30ml bottle of this instead. Yeah, £79, okay, so I only had to add 30 quid. And the lady, like she said on the counter, you won't need to use a separate serum or a separate moisturiser. This is it. So you think of the money you'll save on those products. Yeah. Because I thought, perfect, yes. Like I'm never going to buy another product. Anyway, I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. Obviously I did from the instant I put it on my skin, or else I wouldn't have splurged out on this much. I dread to think what I'm going to do in six months' time when I actually need to repurchase a full-size one myself. But that's six months down the line, isn't it? You know. So basically, it says it's going to do some fantastic things to your face. It's age defying so I think it's good for aged skin basically I wouldn't rush out and buy this if I was still 20 something for one I couldn't afford it secondly it's just not necessary because all the things it's going to help on your skin you haven't got on your skin yet you know the fine lines they're creeping in but they're not really a problem um, you haven't necessarily got the skin texture the unevenness of your skin tone if you've got good skin already kind of thing so I am 47 and I think I am getting the benefits of this skin this skin product on my skin at my age okay because I do have the fine lines I do have the texture a bit of texture anyway you know there is the unevenness and it's supposed to blur so it kind of works a bit like a primer it's got the serum benefits and it's got the moisturizing benefits depending on what you want from your moisturizer I do like a bit of a radiance glow with my moisturizer especially in the winter in the summer I don't want to look a sweaty mess but I do like a bit of a glow which I know you can get from makeup when you highlighter etc but I like it from my moisturizer and you don't quite you do get a luminosity shall we say that's a big word you you get that my skin but better look from it but it kind of mattifies as well so i suppose that's sort of why it sort of blurs and deflects from what's going on on your face it's difficult to get technical in it but i do add on top during the day just a little bit around my forehead and eye area and cheekbone area more of a sort of a glowing moisturizer that i already use just on top just to sort of finish it all off this has gone on first so that's going into my skin and then this is just sort of the glowier moisturiser I just add on just to give it a little bit more luminous look. So basically, yeah, I'd give this five thumbs up if I had five thumbs. I've, I'm definitely giving it a three thumbs up. Obviously, I haven't got two. I just need another one, don't I? Coming in. Anyway, it's definitely getting a three thumbs up. It's fab. I will repurchase it, I think, if I'm not hard up at the time. Um, 
it just does what it says and if you want instant reaction from putting something on your face you're going to definitely get it from this if you've already got the fine lines and the aging process going on i like it anyway the product i don't like so much which i always tag on the end if you haven't quite remembered that yet this little product from benefit obviously this is a miniature because i got it in one of the christmas gift sets that they were selling off in january and i picked up a couple of at half price i didn't want this product in it i wish there was another product in it but i wanted the other products so i got this and i thought you know what i tried this 20 no 10 years ago i didn't like it then but i'll give it a try now and it's the benefit the lip tint lip, the lip and chick chick lip and cheek tint in the red shade okay still don't like it still hate it it doesn't even get you know when you put a lip liner on and then your lipstick wears off and you're left with that slightly lip linered look and you can you want to sort of blend it in and rub it all in to try and make it all work a little bit it doesn't even do that what it does is settle in this bit like it, it just leaves that sort of red hole of it which we won't go into but anyway it just leaves a horrible red mess on the inside of your lip where they kind of where it starts getting wet i suppose i don't know why that is you obviously the, the lips that are exposed are drier i don't know i don't like it i don't want to talk about it anymore didn't like it first time don't like it this time so cheers benefit everything else is fine but not that okay anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i love my dior my skin but better can't be bad anyway all the products well the dual product is all listed below and i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did do you like my in aid of valentine's day top valentine's day is on tuesday this video will be out the night before so i just thought i'd go with some hearts for you okay anyway give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribing would be really good and i will see you next time with my next video thanks a lot for watching bye